Hello, I'm Mark and welcome to my channel. It's all about racing. What you see here on the table are the various boxes and different kinds of packaging that you typically get with an IXO 143 model scale car. There's the 24 hours of Le Mans packaging here. There's just the standard IXO, kind of the older packaging that you get with some of the older cars uh, uh, in their collection. These are two of the newer. This is the limited edition packaging as well as the Manthe Grillo packaging. And then there's just this really odd one. In fact, it's the only IXO car I have that has this kind of packaging on it. But one thing that they all have in common are the boxes are really cheap and cheesy. And quite frankly, once you take them out of them, uh, you do get left with a, a nice model car on a on a plastic base in a jewel case that you can keep uh, and collect. However, I did make this recent acquisition literally just yesterday. I got it, and it is one of the coolest packages that I've ever seen an IXO model car in before. Let me show it to you now. Okay, so we're going to open it up now and take a look at this uh, beautiful DBR9. Voila! There it is. <clears throat> Nasty Martin DBR9 uh, in this really cool, nice little box. Uh, you know, bear in mind, this is uh, attached not to a plastic base, but this is actually just a, it's just a cardboard base that it's screwed into. Uh, so I'm, I'm most likely going to keep this in the box and not take it out as I do in my other models, which, you know, I, I remove from the packaging, but I, I stick them in a, uh, on a shelf to display them. But I figured while I've got you here, we'll go ahead and take a look at this car. You know, not only is the packaging extremely unique, and I, I want to tell you, it's one of the coolest boxes I've ever seen. And for, you know, for an IXO model, which I consider kind of to be the, I wouldn't say they're the low end of the 143 uh, three model uh, scale models out there, but they're not as generally as good as Sparks or as detailed as Look Smart. They're certainly better than Burago and a lot of the other manufacturers such as Minimax, um, um, Action, and, and quite frankly, I was not, not that impressed with, uh, and if you've seen my review, with one of the Auto Art 143 cars I have. But anyhow, this is a really nice car. As you can see, the, 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 the finish is absolutely gorgeous in this sparkle green. Uh, this is a little darker green model than I have of other Aston Martins I have in my collection. Uh, I absolutely love the yellow accents on it, um, you know, particularly around the roof line uh, going up. And I'll have to turn this around to kind of show it to you. Uh, surrounding the grill. And there you get a nice good look at it. Um, you know, IXO must have had something to do with this because I see their logo on the front of the car. So they must have uh, sponsored it in some respect, which is probably why this car was uh, may maybe included in this special packaging in this box. Uh, but, you know, for an IXO, I I'll tell you, the details are just absolutely incredible. Uh, you see the, the tow hook on the front. You see the radiator, uh, you know, grills. Uh, the interior of the car looks really good. Um, mirrors are sharp and crisp. Um, you know, the, the front splitter... Uh, has nice details on it. Of course, it doesn't have a carbon fiber finish, as most cars do, but not all, but most. Uh, one of the complaints I have about IXO is their lack of attention to detail sometimes. Uh, but, you know, from the side of the car, and I'm going to tilt this up and take a look at the wheels, you can see the rotors and the brake um, uh, calipers in there, which sometimes you don't see on, uh, on IXR cars. And turn it down and take a look at the side of it. A little bit better. Uh, you can see the exhaust. You know, if, if there's a weak point in this car, I would say it's the exhaust port, which is right uh, below the British flag there, which I've seen them do better jobs with, quite frankly, on some of their other cars. It's not real apparent here. But otherwise, nice detailing. Uh, I do like how the antennas, they have a black one and a silver one. They have distinctly different mounts, so they don't look like they were just plopped up on there. They look like they have purpose, uh, and that is very, very cool, I think. The way this thing is packaged, it's kind of hard to get around and take a look at the back, um, particularly since I'm trying to do this with one hand. Uh, but here we go. Uh, we'll take a look at the at the rear end of the car. And as you can see, it's very, very sharp. Uh, you know, a lot of cars, uh, you know, uh, particularly lower end cars, a lot of times they don't have plastic inserts for lights. They just paint them. Uh, the IXOs, they, they always do. I mean, they not they may not be the most detailed cars, but they're not cheap, uh, even though they don't cost a whole lot of money. And as you can see, this one has a uh, you know a very nice looking uh, rear end. You see the tow hook, the yellow tow hook clear sticking out. The diffuser is there. Uh, the wing looks gorgeous. From the interior, you know you can see the uh, the framework, uh, and I would imagine that is probably the fuel tank there in the back. And all in all, a very very nice effort. Uh, by IXO, and there you can see the steering wheel. It's circular, and you can see the seat. Uh, you know, you don't. This is an older DBR9, so you're not going to get a uh, steering wheel with paddle shifters like you would typically get in the Vantages that you see today. 
Um, but all in all, I think an outstanding effort by Aston Martin. Let me know what you think in your comments. Do you have a car like this? Are there other Aston Martins uh, that come in this kind of unique uh, packaging in this box that you see here with this DBR9? I would love to know. Please share your thoughts with me and the community. As always, if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.